Hello, I'm Anna Bunda from the Sandigan Kuwait Domestic Workers Association. Um, we are very happy that we are invited here in, in South Africa so that we can learn more about the, the organizing and the um, organizing of the domestic workers, especially in the Middle East in, in Kuwait. Uh, we are sad that in Kuwait we are not they are not allowing us to organize because of the kapala system. We are not safe to organize. Yet yet we are lucky that some of the local organizations in Kuwait, NGOs and the international organizations are supporting us to have the domestic workers being organized. So I am staying in Kuwait for 20 years. Um, one of the big issues in Kuwait, not only, not only for the migrant workers, but also to those NGOs working for the domestic workers, are, is the Kapala system. Kapala system is like owning someone, like owning a, a, a worker, uh, uh, taking all his rights because of this sponsorship system that's been existing in the Middle East. What does Kapala do in practice? Um, it's uh, taking, taking your passport, um, not allowing you to have your day off or to organize, which is uh, very, very sad for the uh, domestic workers. So what does it mean? What does Kapala mean? It's sponsorship system. Mm -hmm. Someone owns you, mm -hmm. so you don't have the, the, the right to move or to organize. And what is your hope from this Congress? Um, I hope from this, this Congress is to learn more how to organize domestic workers, especially those who, who, cannot, who cannot go out from their house mm -hmm. or from their employer's house how to, to reach them, how to organize them, how to educate them more, to know about their lives, and how to, to, get, to get that right. And we are very happy and we are very lucky that some of the NGOs in Kuwait, especially Kuwait NGOs, is very, uh, very supportive for this uh, ad hoc.